This is so Whoa. cute. He's Hello. such a soft little soul with a heart shell. Yes. Hey guys, welcome back to the Rainbow Wheels with Panos and Matt. <laughs> Rumble Room. <laughs> You're too funny. This is cute. <laughs> you 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 heard it yourself, no? Hey guys, welcome back to the Rainbow Wheels with Panos and Matt. Hardstopper is back, season three. We're super excited to see Nick and Charlie again and the rest of the gang, of course. Yes. Um, you in particular, because it's one of your favorite shows. And we actually just finished watching Agatha all along with Joe Locke as well. Yes. So if you haven't watched our reaction for that. You can do that after we watch this. Yes. But we're big fans of Joe Locke. And we can't wait to see how this plays out. So let's dive right in. Let's go. Let's go. The lovely music is back. Yes. Oh, you have one of those. Is that the British it summer? Be, it must be summer, it yes. Must be summer. No aircon in British households. Nope. But also, why is she surrounded by so many blankets? Girl. Nick. I have something to tell you. Oh, that's cute. I love you. And you don't have to say it back yet. Is he practicing? But... So they didn't say I love you? I don't was want you to oppress you. Uh, last season? Um... I'm shocked you haven't said it already. Hmm. Didn't Nick send it over text? Yeah. But then he didn't reply to no. it? And I think text is obviously much easier now. Yeah. Well... We're going to the beach today, and then he's on holiday for three weeks, so... So tell him to... How is it warm? She uses a fan and he's, he's wearing, wearing a cardigan. cardigan. This is a continuity issue for me. <laughs> oh my god, he's leaving the house in a cardigan. And he's wearing a tank top. Hi. Maybe he's hiding something. Hi. Maybe. Oh! I've never seen you in a vest before. Mm. Yes, show, show those, those guns. muscles. <laughs> These boys are so cute together. Hard strawberry, this is cute. Love. Love. Haven't we had pizza at yours like four times? Yay. Not pizza. Mm. Are they properly I'm together? Cook us a candlelit dinner. Yeah. Do we need to watch season two quickly? <laughs> Tara and Dust. Last night you hogged the duvet, so and my mum almost walked in on us again. So you you used to hog the duvet. Now we have two. <laughs> True. <laughs> so we don't have to share. <laughs> we don't have to share. Heads up! Darcy. Darcy. The gang is back together. Yeah, so nice to see them. Yes, I agree. Hello, Isaac. Isaac, what are you books? reading? Always with his books. I'm bringing the fun. <laughs> I'm bringing the fun. Oh, and she was saying it as well. I love you. The muscle boy. Ooh, he's like, Charlie, mm -hmm. you know my back? Please. Yeah, sure. Your back, the front, anything. <laughs> this is so he needs it. He's a ginger. Oh, he needs oh, to put on the SPF. Oh, it's... You know, this is beautiful because it's mutual, right? This is cute. I love you. Well, thank you. Um, <gasps> I think it's too early for me to say that. Oh, no. Why is he in his head so much? But he, he said it, no, he's 16, 15, so, you know. Do you have someone? Oh, no, I don't really burn, I just tan. Who, are you British? You British? I, maybe in a bit. No. Oh. You got a little bit of, um, it just means all over. Actually, you just, everyone oh, the screen, Charlie. Hello, 
Of course, these two are eating. Strawberry? You know what? We didn't have enough ice cream this summer, I find. No, we didn't. You? Your double pistachio and double chocolate situation? <laughs> Not enough. Give me your hand. The, the oh, what is going on? A bracelet. Tao. See, I got one too, so we're matching that. Oh, that's cute. Open. Oh. Huge. Flower. I want the most romantic summer ever with you before you go to Lambert. Well, I support that idea. Oh yeah, she's going to a different school. I mean, she was always on a, at a different school. Yes. But still, she's gonna be away. You okay? You seem kind of stressed out. I want to tell Nick that I love him. <laughs> Charlie, you're already dating him. Yeah, I know, but I want to say the words I love you. Well, why don't you just sit here staring at him all day instead, then? I'm not, I'm not staring. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really get the appeal. What, with anyone? No, not really. Interesting. You think I'm immune? I don't remember the last time Isaac spoke so much. They gave him a lot of lines, was it just me? Do you yeah. think you're asexual, then? Probably. Uh, probably aromantic, too. You could tell the others, Isaac. They'd be supportive. No, I know they would be. Yeah, honestly, I, I just can't be bothered to give everyone a vocab lesson. Mm. Yeah, that's kind of true. It's kind of true, but at the same time, you know... Yeah, like, also, why don't you, do you need to be, like, come out and tell exactly. someone, like, yeah. hey, I'm asexual and aromantic. Yeah, yeah I, I, I understand and I agree in a way, but I'm also, like, it's such a supportive group and they're all on the same page. You might as well just, you know. Yeah, but then, again, that's why. Like, they would never question him no. and be like, hey, like, why don't you have a boyfriend? And, like... Yeah, yeah. Throwing the chip. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. Just eat it. <sighs> Nick's gonna see it Nick now. Is he seeing it? Hello. Hi. I guess I must have eaten today. You could always go somewhere just that. Do you guys want ice lollies or are you just gonna keep flirting? Uh. We're all full up, actually. Sorry. Interesting. So nobody else noticed? No, I guess they're not really paying attention to that, you know? Mm. Oh, Tao, you're probably not going to see her for five whole minutes. Oh, you're going to be okay. <laughs> How's life living with your girlfriend? Yeah. It's good. She might be moving out soon, though. Not that I want Darcy to move out or anything, it's just been a bit, you know. A lot. I feel bad. Mm -hmm. Am I the only one who's stressed about starting sick form? I guess I've just been distracted by... Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, he's doing some research. That's good though, that he's educating himself, no? Yeah. Other things. It breaks my heart. You're doing your best. Yeah, so are you. Wanna come? Uh, I wonder if he's gonna open up to them, you know? If Nick's gonna tell the group, hey guys, I'm struggling with this, this is a situation, I need your help. But maybe it's also not his place to do? Yeah, I, I don't think it would be nice to tell them, like, hey, Charlie is struggling with... Eating. Yeah. Yeah. Why is he not going into the water, at least, you know? Having some fun... Well, I think they want to convey this idea of him, you know, obviously he's not, not eating, being so he's lost, and, yeah, yeah, he's lost weight, he's a little skinnier, you know, self-doubt and everything, just, I think that's what they're trying to portray here. And he's just worried, obviously, Nick's just worried. Especially with him being away for three weeks, you know? Mm. Come and see with me. I really don't want to take my shirt off. So he's, he's 
He took the, the cardigan off. True. Just going to the sea with your t-shirt on. Perfect. Nick is so supportive, I love it. Yeah, I'm just like... It's easy, you know? Like, it's fine, don't take your, your t-shirt. But you can still go into the water, exactly. you know? Exactly, true. Go. <laughs> 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 no! No! I hate you. <laughs> no, you should have said I love you. Yes, that was the perfect was moment. The moment. Maybe Nick's gonna say it. Yeah, maybe it's easier, like, if it says it first. Someone needs to break the ice. Yes. I need to talk to you about something. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. You go first. No, no, no. don't go first. I can't say it first now you said that. Charlie, you go first. I think you have an eating disorder. <laughs> I've been doing some research and um, I know you don't want me to try and fix you or anything. I'm just trying I to... don't think I do. I know that I've got some issues. I, I don't think they're that bad. No. You don't need to worry about me. Oh. Is that what you wanted to talk about as well? <sighs> yeah. No. Oh, this is so sad. Well. You know what? We, we knew it was coming, right? It's, it's, it's such an important topic as well, because that's literally where we left off at the end of uh, season two, so... Okay, it's, it's just a little bit a little of food, bit. Yeah. yeah. It's just some toast. Like... Oh, yes. Oh, are you going to miss me? Mm, maybe a little bit. A little bit. Ooh. Very, very rude. You should go on holiday as well. Very, very rude. I am gonna go and have a shower. Movie after? Only if it's not Marvel. <laughs> Only if it's Agatha all along. <laughs> True. You should be loving Marvel. I think they put it in on purpose. Tossie. Yeah. What's she gonna say? I need you to move out. Maybe you should try living with your grand. Oh, that was easy. You might have more space if you lived with her. Yeah, I thought they were having that conversation anyway. Huh. I think we need some personal space too. Yes, very important. And besides, I'll get more time in the shower as soon as you spend like an hour in the morning. <laughs> I do not. Oh no, she's ungrateful. Let me help you pack. Yeah, just try it, you know? Exactly. Just a little just see space. how it goes. Yeah. Especially they're so young. You'll have exactly. your whole future so together. Living together with in your... one room. Or two rooms? Or three rooms. But anyway. Romantic music. You know, they're not giving us a few sparks and butterflies with those girls. Huh. Let's hope oh, this is a mess. No, I can do it. Oh my god. I'm making dinner for my girlfriend. Thank you, Mom. Please don't burn down my house, huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> Please don't burn down my house. <laughs> oh my God. Let's just order okay, pizza. We can just order pizza. <laughs> yes, good idea. I want everything to be perfect this summer. <laughs> Everything's gonna change when you go to. Lambert. This is We've not perfect. We've only got three weeks left together, and you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. I don't want to lose you. How? You will lose her. <laughs> you poison her. I'm surprised the mom hasn't kicked him out. What? Him? Yeah. No, no, no. As it kicked him out of the kitchen. Oh. You got my side. 
That's so cute. So cute. Cute. You know, I love how much work and love they're putting into the show. They're like, we're going to show you every single picture and how it was taken. Yeah, exactly. All the memories. Yeah, it's really good. The attention to detail is really good. Past 9 p.m. Chop chop. No mother. I have something to do first. Nick? Yeah? My mum said I have to go home. You know when we were in the sea? Yeah. What is he gonna say now? I love you. Through the door. I was actually gonna say that. <sighs> Go. Come on, say it. I love you. Yes. Oh no. Uh, this is Charlie's worst nightmare. Like, Nick is not responding. Yeah. I, anyway, I, I, I can walk myself home. Bye. Oh no! Oh, he's just running oh, Nick. off. Nick, what are you doing? Ouch. Run after him. What a mess. Get you dressed and run what after a mess. him. She's gonna run after him. I hope so. Where is he? Nick. Oh. Nick! No shoes? Oh. <laughs> Say what you said again, please. It's embarrassing. No. You heard it. I love you. Yay! Finally. Because you're going away and I won't see you for a few weeks. I love you too. Oh, this is cute. You're not just saying that because I said it, are you? Charlie. <laughs> no. Idiot. This is such a nice moment. There needs to be more flowers. It needs to be a hurricane of flowers. Exactly. Three flowers is not enough. Come on. It needs to be a storm. Clean the budget will be enough this time around. <laughs> yeah, well, you're the one who no, said I loved you the first time when I was in the shower. Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> exactly. We know you were in the shower. Why are we like this? This is cute. I think this song also needs to go into I the think they needed this moment as well because before Nick goes on holiday, right? Yeah. Ah, pizza! This is so funny though. I love it. So in love that you're gonna walk to my house with no shoes on. <laughs> yeah, that's how in love I am. I think you'd do the same for me. Yeah, I would. Yay! Are you ready for episode two? Yes. Let's go. Let's go. I guess this is the auntie. Right, yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. Because, as we know, Olivia Coleman could not be in the season. Scheduling issues. Yes. Love you. We're gonna be All texting cats. each other every single day, multiple times. Did you notice something? I love you. Usually they would show us Instagram messages. Now they showed us messages on the screen. Mm. Was that the first time we saw something new? Uh, uh, I mean, can you can you wait for a minute? I think those three weeks are gonna be hard for him. He's gonna be checking his phone every five minutes. Is it his imagination? Yes, obviously. <laughs> Nick is not here.
we know her from some some other movie or I need to see TV her face properly. It's going to be a message. Yeah, don't say that over a no. message, you know. Hard stopper, hold oh. on. Uh, Charlie, can you tidy up a bit in here, please? The room looks a mess. Okay, mother. Did you do it? Yeah. And he said it back? Yeah. Told you. It was... It was fun. It had its ups and downs, yes. So, has nobody noticed that he's not eating? Is it just me that sees it? Because maybe also because he's aware of it, he pays attention, you know? Yeah. He, he said that he was worried that... I... <sighs> Charlie, I don't see any tidy... Hang on. Nick, I... Okay, come on, put the phone down. You can talk to Nick later. Charlie, yeah? You shouldn't be staying late around his house. You're too young to be having sex. What? We're not. Charlie, I'm not stupid. So, so I can't have a boyfriend because of schoolwork? No, that's not what I said. Mum, you're literally making a problem out of nothing. I'm only saying this because I'm worried about him. Charlie, can we... Can we what, babes? You're not even talking to him, you're just talking at him. You're being too harsh. Exactly. I said the wrong thing to him. Yeah, you do. You need to be more supportive. Are you messaging friends? I was just talking to my boyfriend. Boyfriend? Well, we have a lot to catch up on, don't we? How about once Yay! I run past, you give me the full I like her. over a glass of bread and some breadstick? <laughs> over a glass of bread and for you, breadsticks. <laughs> and maybe a cup of sun. Oh, she seems lovely. Yes, she's Olivia Coleman's sister after all. <laughs> Week one. Hello. Oh, oh hello. I'm Mr. Farouk. Eleven o'clock on the dot. You know me. I do. Hmm. I do know you. And what's underneath? We don't know how far they went. Oh, we can imagine. We can. GCSE results. Ooh, even they are getting effects. The budget is like budgeting. what happened between them and the, over the last few weeks, you morning. know? Uh, morning. Whoops. You are playing a very dangerous game. Fun, no? Oh, I know. I'll be good. Not too good. Come in. <clears throat> this is so cute. This is so Whoa. cute. He's Hello. such a soft little soul with a heart shell. Yes. Oh, Toad? Oh, this is mini car. Is that the, oh, that's the grand girl. Like and remember, bad grades aren't the worst thing in the world. Thank you, Grand. <laughs> and let so me cute. know what day you want to move in. I'm getting your room ready. Mm. Yeah, she seems cool. Cute. Where's Nick? That's Nick. Great, thank you. Victoria's so you can just take Nick's results? That is interesting. Oh my god, I got eaten drama! <laughs> well, there's no... <laughs> yes, because you're a drama bitch. How do they rate this? Like, eight is good? I guess. <gasps> oh, I guess no. Oh, good. no! <sighs> this is molecular. <laughs> Okay, she has a, a lot of... If you think 9? 9, 9, 9? I guess that's good. If 8 is good, 9 is even better, no? She huh. should be happy. What about so well. Charlie's results, though? Exams mean nothing. Is that Nick's pick? I think those are his. Oh no, Nick. Six, Nicholas seven, Nelson. 7, 9, okay, cool. Nick doesn't care. He's in the pool. Yeah. 
Congratulations. Never I'm not surprised. Are we? More breadsticks for you later. <laughs> oh, they are open, right? But Nick's brother is a complete Potato. idiot. Right, the whole family, like his mom as well. Just brother is like. Ah, oh, there it is again, the darkness. <laughs> we shouldn't find love about it. No, we honest. shouldn't. No, no, no. We're gonna overcome it. And if I have to jump into the screen and shake these two, wake up! Everything will get better. What about Charlie's results? So you're gonna send him a shirtless picture? Yeah, but now we're talking. Hey babes, miss you. Hey guys, I thought we were all going to Nando's to celebrate results. That's like the only reason that I'm here. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I would be up for Nando's as well. Okay. Oh, bless you. Sorry, you. Okay, come on. Isaac and uh, Charlie can do something together. It's just you and me then. Okay. Nah, all good. Another time. Aww. Oh, come on, Charlie. Just go to Nando's. I guess going to Nando's would mean he has to eat, eat something, no? But... <sighs> Dinner's ready. I'm not hungry. I'll eat later. I don't want to see mum. I'm telling you, how is nobody picking it up? Sending Sophie back. He's not going to. He's... Mom. <sighs> See, I would send the other emoji, the drooling emoji. <laughs> <laughs> of course you would. Okay, week two, we're moving fast. I mean, look, they're all doing something, right? Yeah. They're enjoying summer and Charlie's just sitting at home. In his room. <sighs> He's literally just sitting in his room waiting for Nick to reply. Oh, this is not good. Oh. You look like a lovesick puppy, dear nephew. Do you ever treat people with eating disorders? Sometimes. Why? She's a therapist? Yeah. Okay. Just curious. Say it. Mm. She knows something is up. You need a nice poster of a handsome boy up there. I'm a lesbian, Bram. You need a pretty girl up there then. <laughs> Perfect. Excellent work. Supportive grand. See? Well, so like easier as well. Exactly. She's literally Nick's brother. She's just having a tantrum because she's realised I might not come back. You don't have to talk to her if you don't want to. Good. I don't want to. Good. Don't speak to bullies. We did not drag you away from your boyfriend just so you could be texting him all evening. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I love how she's wearing her uh, Paris hoodie. Hmm? She's wearing her Paris hoodie. Mm. I love Paris. Are we really gonna spend the one evening we have with you talking about your boyfriend? I mean, yes. <laughs> yes. Come on, Aww. spend some time with Isaac. He's also lonely. What are you up to? Nothing much. <sighs> this is not healthy whatsoever. Um, big sister, talk to him. <laughs> What's up? I'm worried. I don't know. Yes. Shake it. So maybe she's slowly seeing stuff? Mm. Okay. Are you tickling it? No. No, 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 no. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> I know someone else is ticklish. <laughs> that Pizza. would be Isaac. One second. Oh, Isaac. <laughs> Stop. Oh no, this is awkward. Again. Isaac's like, what are we doing here? Stop. <laughs> right, you have to are you guys gonna actually watch this movie oh, or not? Sorry. No babes. Have you not noticed? 
be a fun fling over here. Yeah, also he hates my movie choices, so I bet he didn't want to come. Mm. I think we're gonna have to break up actually, thank you very much. Oh, Alright? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, she's Isaac's gonna lose it. No! Isaac, please. Don't leave. We love you. It's all we good. Love you. No, we'll do this another time. Have a good one. But Five we... minutes. Bye. Five more minutes. Five more minutes of this? No. Uh, they I hope he's gonna show up at Charlie's house now. One of your friends is here. Oh Yay. there you go. I Which one? The one who's always reading? <sighs> Can I come in? Yeah. I mean, you're here, so... <laughs> Might as well. What's going on, Charlie? What? Well, you don't want to hang out with us anymore. And I'm just feeling a little bit left out, to be honest. Bless her. I can sympathise with that. I just wanted to make sure that you're okay. Hmm. I I'm just missing Nick a lot, and my mum's been really annoying, and... You promise that's it? Yeah. Here we go. Yes. See, he wants to do stuff. Right. Yeah, you just need to, like, kind of push him a push little him bit. Push him a little. Yeah, because also being alone this whole time is also not good for his No, it's health, not healthy. You know? Can you go and get your brother? Why do I have to get him? There's more chance he'll come down if you ask. It's almost like she also kind of gave up on him, right? And is pushing it on to the sister. Hey, dinner's ready. Dad's on a roast. Just saying a bit more seasoning wouldn't go amiss. Mm. <laughs> How is it flavorless? Isn't the death banish? Yeah, that's, that's it. completely I mean, we should bring wrong. The spices. Wait, we need to talk to the screenwriters. Oh no. No, don't do that, sister. <sighs> but maybe this is what needed to happen. Also, I love how he's checking the same website. Mm. Oh, she's sexy, Nick! So yeah, we may not be able to hang out every single day, but that doesn't mean I like you any less. Exactly. I still like you as much as I did 14 years ago. Maybe a little bit more. A little bit more? No, a little bit. Just a little. Okay. I like I you a lot you. more. Wait. Really? I love you so much. I just thought it was too soon to say it. Get some pizza now. Cute. So everybody's moving to the right direction, it yes. seems. No, I hate your touch mm. yeah, yeah. See eating. Oh. I mean that that is pretty obvious now. If he doesn't eat anything yeah. from the plate. Oh, what's going on in his head? Charlie, is something wrong? I'm gonna go to the bathroom. <sighs> oh. Nice guy to stay, I think, to get worried as well. So cute. Nick? Charlie? Charlie, you still there? Are you... Did you hear what I said? I think you were right. I think I do have an eating disorder. Sorry. Charlie. Don't say sorry. It's gonna be okay. You can talk to your parents. You can, you can get help. I can't talk to them. I can't tell my parents. I 
I don't know what to do. Charlie? What are you doing? Nothing. Are you in here texting Nick? Charlie, you can't keep skipping dinner. You have to eat. I don't feel well. Come on, come downstairs. I'll get you some paracetamol. There is this complete uh, disconnect. No. Mm. Sorry, I, I love you. It's, a, it's very overwhelming, you know, for like a teenager to deal with this. I mean, I wouldn't know how to deal with it. What's going on? You've had something on your mind this whole holiday. Charlie has an eating disorder. Oh. He just can't eat sometimes. A lot of the time. I don't know what to do now. I'm just... Sixteen-year-old kid. Exactly. It's okay that you're scared. <clears throat> and I, I know that you think it's your job to save him. And I know that it feels like you are each other's whole world. That dependency isn't healthy for anyone. He needs help from a doctor or a therapist. Hmm. Love can't cure a mental illness. <sighs> How then? Well, there's, well, there's lots of... You can still be there for him. You can be there for him. Wow. Uh -huh. Okay. People need more support than one person can give. Ah, oh, see, the whole friend group needs to come together. Yeah, not only that, but as she said, she also needs some someone professional, professional. right, to to support him. Ah, that's a nice song as well. I'm gonna start crying again. <laughs> I can see. <laughs> <sighs> it's Hayley on. Atwell is the aunt. She played him um, in Marvel. Which role? Captain America. Ah, yes! Captain. She was the girlfriend. Captain Carter. Yes. Oh, this is crazy. And I was like, she looks familiar. Who is she? You know what I thought? I thought. Oh, the boys. Like, yeah. And she's obviously not that tall. And. Yeah. Okay, guys, this was episode one and two of Heartstopper season three. Love and home. Love and home. As you can see, it was very emotional. You've been crying. I was tearing up a lot. Um, I think they've done a really good job with these two episodes. I agree. Right. Very good build up. Not too fast, not too slow. Episode two moves very fast because obviously we're going quickly through the three, three weeks, weeks of holiday. Yeah. But in a very organic way. I want to say we spent a lot of time with um Tao and L. Yes. But you know, I guess also it's important because that particular relationship moves into a slightly different direction. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that they're giving Isaac more lines. He looks like, you know, he's a lot more sure of himself. He knows now who he is. He knows what he's interested in and what he likes. And he questioned things. He challenges. It felt like he was challenging a few moments here and there. Yeah. Uh, but also he pointed out, he said, you know, I, I feel left out, which was, I think was good. 
I guess they they because obviously he was a new character introduced for the show. Yeah. Right. So maybe in season one and two as well a little bit they were still trying to figure out what to do with him. Yep. But now you know, as you said, he is speaking up a bit more and he's like, no, like you're just ignoring me. Yes. Like I'm feeling left out. Oh, pretty much. Um. No, but like just in general, I feel like the storytelling was like really, really good. Really good. I agree. Um, and just also like the acting also has become even better. I think. Um, maybe it's more obviously they they've done some other jobs as well in between, and maybe they are now in season three. Obviously, Much more skilled, really familiar with the characters and like just just living it. One hundred percent, I think so too. They they they're embodying those characters yeah. to the to the fullest, and not only, but you really can see what a a, a a well-rounded group it has become and how well they're working together you know it feels very natural it looks natural the acting is uh, really really good yeah um believable believable. Very believable yeah i love how charlie's sister is obviously slowly picking up on what's going on wasn't the biggest fan when she checked his laptop right privacy and stuff mm. But I guess it had to happen, right? Because it looks like there was no other way for her to notice it. I, uh, though, having said that, I think she started picking up on it. That's why she checked the laptop. The she mom... Did, she did notice, obviously, yes. something was wrong with him. Yes. Right? But then, she, like, if she would call him for dinner and stuff and he wouldn't yeah. come, you know, like, he would say, like, I'm not hungry and stuff. I think she started... She started putting it together. Suspecting something. Yeah, yeah. And then finally she got the confirmation when she checked the laptop. Yeah. There seems to be a complete disconnect with the mom and Charlie. So they're just talking past each other. Yeah. Right? Which is a bit it's disappointing. It's a very dis- dysfunctional relationship. Mm. The, disapp- dad, the dad doesn't suspect anything. No, he's just like almost like a side character. Right? Oh, yeah. Like, he is. But also he's like, ha, 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 it's my seasoning. No, no, no. Your son no, actually exactly. has a disorder. And the mom is just like... Oh, it's Nick. Nick's the problem. Yeah, yeah. Like, she's just blaming him for... And, like, even in that scene when they were in the living room and she asked him to, like, tidy and stuff. She said it to the sister, you know? Um, I always say the wrong thing. and She is always saying the wrong thing. Thanks for noticing. Yeah, but actually just to, like, maybe reflect and be like, okay, maybe let me sit down with him and had like have a proper talk or like let me try to understand him you know what she needs to do she needs to not talk she needs to sit down and she needs to listen she needs to actively listen active listening right not talk she doesn't need to talk no talking let the boy talk let the boy talk you listen that's what she needs to do and she needs to not judge. She needs to keep an open mind. Yeah, and just have a bit more compassion. Like just, yeah. just think about like when you were 16 years old, 15, 16 years old, and you were love, in love and like you had your first boyfriend or girlfriend, mm. you know? It feels like that is the world to you. There's nothing more important. So, yeah. you know, you do want to spend time with him. You just want to text with him and yeah, you're you don't. Love. You don't feel like doing anything else. Like yeah, yeah. you know, you don't want to tidy. You don't want to do this. You want. You don't want to do yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Let's see. I have a feeling that the mother will come around. They will. I think they will be. They some, need to have a moment. Yeah, I think yeah. they need to have some some form of closure, some form of you know coming together. Um, I think the sister will also play a key role in this particular moment. And also maybe Nick, maybe the because the mom somewhat sees as Nick being the problem, right? Yeah. That Nick is the problem that he's late. Nick is the problem that he has these bad, you know, bad grades in school and he doesn't do his homework and some stuff. And it's just, it's not Nick. It's just, you know, maybe she will see as Nick, Nick, Nick saving him or being there for him during this difficult time now, right? Especially when we when we see the aunt, his aunt is obviously saying, you know, he needs professional help, but you need to be there for him, or you can be there for him. Yeah. You know, even through the good times and the hard times, but one person is not enough, which really is literally like your friend group needs. Everybody needs to come together to protect him and save him. 
and maybe maybe Charlie's mom will see Nick for who he really is. You know, he really cares for Charlie. Yeah, he really does. Oh, but it was good that he, um, Nick now had this talk with his aunt at the end. Yes, I agree. Just for him to realize also, maybe to relieve some of that pressure he was putting on himself, you know? Yes. Because he thought like, oh, oh it's on, on me. I'm his boyfriend. Yeah. I need to take care of him. Yes. Like, this is like also my issue now. Mm. I need to solve it. And she's like, right no. alone. But no, you can't, you know? <laughs> he needs professional help. But of course, you can still be a good boyfriend. You, you're you going to be there for him yes. when he needs you. Yeah. Um. Yeah, she she was amazing. The aunt, the aunt. Yeah, you know, just in general, like she was super open minded. Like he was telling her straight away, like, "Oh, I've, I've got a boyfriend." He's like, "Boyfriend, let Let's me get sit my down wine with a glass of red wine and some uh, breadsticks. breadsticks." Let me get my wine. Start talking. And even her husband as well. Yeah. Right? He was like, he was like, "Why didn't you bring him?" Like, yeah. Next holiday, he's gonna be here as well. Christmas party, Christmas approval, all of the all of the and hiking. I would have been like, hiking. <laughs> No, I would have not passed the test. <laughs> okay, where's the door? Bye. Um, um, good. No, it was a good start to the season. Yeah, I want to say like all of the couples now told each other that they love each other, right? Um, yes, I think so. So Nick the and Charlie couples. said it. The yeah, the main main Nick and Charlie, yes. Town L. Yeah, and. Well, we have also Imogen and what's her name, Zara, Zahar. Yeah. They, there was a bit of a moment at the end of season two when since Imogen. Then we, no, no, nothing. no, nothing has happened. Nothing. So, so are we gonna see something develop? Are they gonna give us a moment? Who knows? Who knows? Um, but it was nice also, like uh, with Tao and L having the moment where they talked about his dad. His dad, you know, and like her obviously leaving to this other school now. Yeah. And his fear of like losing another person or, like have... being, or maybe like being abandoned or yeah. something, you know. Mm, that I have to say, I find a little not so believable because she has already been on a different school. So how is this now dip suddenly yeah, completely different? But I do get it. Like they're young, you know, and like, yes, they were at a different school, but they were still in the same vicinity yeah like it was still super close you know mm. like they were, could still spend every single day together now she is gonna be a bit further away fair enough i hope you like tell babe don't be so dramatic you can still he face is, but, look, that's his character he's very dramatic maybe he should uh, have <laughs> ever seen the in drama eight yeah and not emojin um and then we had tyra and darcy we haven't seen ben Ben no, disappeared? I'm fine with that, to be honest. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, and then Tara, Tara and Darcy, Darcy, who are living together. Not anymore. Not anymore, because... Um, T- Tara needed a bit of... Um, yeah, she needs some space. space. And Darcy's going to move to her... Gran. Gran. Who's who seems, who seems character. really cool, actually. Yes. She's fun. She's like, why don't you have pictures up? Some six-packs. And she's like, Gran, have you noticed? She's like, well... Okay, some, then put a girlfriend some up. Some titties like, out of... <laughs> She's like much better. Much better. Much better. But sad that Darcy's relationship with her mom is like really. Now she even blocked her at the end. I can kind of sympathize with that. I I, I can understand it. Because I think the mom like really needs to like put effort into it and like actually make the first step. She's she 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 did a couple of steps. I don't know if you noticed, but they were like miss call, miss call, miss call, and Darcy like, was like, Babe. "No, it's it's not enough." I wonder if we're gonna have a bit of closure there, or, or she blocking her was closure. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, that was a good start to the season. That was yeah. episode one and two. Thank you guys for being back with us. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you are not new and you're back, thank you for coming back. We're going to link more down below and we'll see you for the next one. Bye. Bye.